who is ready for some mad scientist playtime because that's what I am doing in this video. You see, I tried to do some fabric coloring in these cups when I was doing the video for you guys the other day and that didn't work out, which is why you got the other video instead of this one. But I couldn't let all that color go to waste, right? I mean, it was just sitting there in some water. And I knew there was a way that I was going to be able to use all that color, just maybe not in the way I originally planned. So what I did is I dumped every one of those cups into a great big tub, mixed it all up. I didn't care what the color wheel said. I made mud on purpose because I knew, look at the color. That's the color of earth, right? I'm nature girl here, of course. I wanted browns, I wanted earth tones. I wanted to get my fabric saturated with color. And then I wanted to wring it all out and add some more color on top of that. Laid down some deli paper, took my sprays and went to town. And I had such a good time, you know? I just got color every which way that I could. I squeezed it up, scrunched it so you get those juicy, crunchy, dark bits, and then some lighter spots underneath. And I let everything go out and dry in the sun. So remember all that liquid that was left after we squeezed out the fabric? It was a lot of color, right? We had to use it for something. So why not grab some papers and get some color on them? Yep, that's what I did. This is where you throw out any preconceived ideas about what colors can go together, unless it really, really bugs you. But for me, I figure if the final result is mud, you know, it's dirt, I'm okay with that. But really, you can get a lot of different colors. You know, the way these inks and sprays and paints are put together, they all have varying degrees of pigments in them and sometimes colors that we don't even realize that are inside them, like blue is in black and green, purple, you know, whatever. Anyways, the point is, throw everything in the pot and see what comes out. You might be surprised. And if you really, really hate it, it was just a piece of paper. I use regular printer paper and I use some uh, deli paper at the end and of course when I'm putting things on the trays I'm always putting deli paper underneath there so there's constantly layers that are being built up on these things. It's a great way to use up leftovers. The bottles, you know, when you get down to the very end and you can't get anything to squirt out anymore and you fill it with water, dump it in a jar and keep adding it, you know, um, for two or three or four days. Put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator and save it so it doesn't go moldy. And then, you know, you're going to get colors that you wouldn't get by mixing or you wouldn't think about putting together. I'm always surprised and I'm always happy when I do something like this. And if I'm not happy, it's just a piece of paper. It's not brain surgery, right? So have some fun with it and make sure you stick around at the end because I will show you what everything looks like all nice and dry and ironed. And I am so happy with it all.
everything has been dried and ironed and let me tell you it is so yummy i can't believe how fabulous this turned out i really had intended to go a different direction with my colors and now i'm so glad i went this way these were uh, just sort of blah before because they were a, a deep kind of a green and I had tried tea dyeing them and it didn't take but see once I get that other color on there now these are so much more interesting look at these I think I had cut these for pages for a book and now that I'm looking at them I'm thinking maybe maybe that's exactly what I should do is just fold all these up into a little fabric book it can become another just because book it doesn't have to do anything Ah, uh, I mean, can't you just see it? That would, I can totally see that as a little just because book. So keep in mind that this all started with kind of a beigey brown uh, paint water beginning, okay? And I thought I was just going to dip them in there and it just kind of didn't seem that exciting. So then I grabbed some blues and decided to start playing with that. And just really got some interesting colors so what I have decided is that I am going to start selling bundles. There will be some papers, some fabrics, some fibers, some lace. And I will uh, put together a um, list, an announcement list. Okay, this was some commercial fabric. So it's already more interesting on this side, but the back side is wonderful because you can see a little bit of the stuff coming through. Now I could figure going in here and just doing some stitching on that. So if you would like to be on the announcement list for when I have bundles going up, let me know. Uh, you can send me a message, send me an email, message me on Etsy, message me on Facebook, and I'll put you on the list. Message me on Instagram, all the places. This is great because the magicals that were in there, you know, they don't look like they're doing a whole lot when you first put them on, but you get that wonderful little shimmer. I also have another list that some people might be interested in, and that is when I have a journal or a book that is for sale, people on my list will get first dibs. And uh, no obligation, you just get the first choice, first right of refusal, I guess they call it. So you can let me know, and I can add you to that list. Really can see the gold there. Look at the, this is a nice big piece of fabric. And this was... An old sheet if I ever see these again in the thrift store it had text on it which is just wonderful so that side's good but then the back side has really got some yummy color on it and this was also an old sheet that's just got some beautiful colors look at that this is getting a little more interesting one thing to think about when you're trying to get color on anything whether it's lace or fabric or paper you know the first layer is just that it's the first layer and you just keep doing things to it this is all synthetic so it's going to take things differently but i could come over this with some wax i could come over it with some acrylic paint i could get a lot of really interesting things out of this and now the papers oh so yummy this was some just plain white watercolor paper and i just wanted to get something moody on it not sure what I will do with this yet, but that's okay. This was something I tore out of a sketchbook, so the paper's kind of peeling there, and I actually like that. I like the effect. I love this. And these were pages that I pulled out of uh, watercolor sketchbooks that I had just started to get backgrounds on, and they were all very bright, which really isn't me. So now they're a little bit darker and moodier. These lines are from the uh, metal sheet that I had them on. Oh, gosh. So yummy. So much more usable for me now. So all of these could just be folded in half and become a page of a book. They could be re-hinged. You know, you could, um, you could do fabric hinge in the middle like that. So these were colored originally with gelatos and marabou crayons and neocolor twos. And the color didn't run on them. Maybe it's because they've been on there for a couple of years, but how amazing do these look now? I am just really, really happy. So 
So some of these sorts of things might end up in bundles. One can never have enough collage fodder, right? And here's just the regular papers. But again, when I first did the papers, they looked so kind of blah. And then as things dry, the distress sprays, of course, do that wonderful thing that distress sprays do and start to react. The magicals in there. And then you get pages like this, and don't be disappointed. Do not be disappointed when you get a page with these white things because you dump this in a bath of tea or just spray a little bit of tea on there or sponge it on. Spray, you know, you could do distress sprays again. But I take things like this and I usually save aside anything that needs a little more color. And whenever I've got a tea bath going, I just dump the paper in there real quick. So this one's got some nice lines from the cookie sheet that it was on, which is really nice. They're subtle. It's like a beautiful blue, silvery gray. Kind of looks like a stormy sea. This one, the Magicals, really had a lot of color in them. And again, this was just starting with leftover paint that had been sitting in water. And I always, when I do these, you would have seen, I start with a deli paper underneath because then it keeps sopping up any of the color. Anytime I'm doing anything with getting color on stuff, I put deli paper underneath there. I do deli paper because then stuff doesn't stick to it like it might if I put this kind of paper. And then I just let that color just continue to build up because that's what we want, right? We just want those layers of color. Now, something else you could do, okay, you're looking at this. Take a metallic gel pen and start doodling around and you can get some really pretty effects. And if a page isn't that exciting to you, it just means it's not done yet. It's just not done yet, so just do something else to it. Here's another one, that, just a little dip in tea, and that's going to get even more exciting. I love this. I think that was a piece, oh, that was that um, synthetic lace that wasn't taste, so that might be a really good stencil to be using. Yeah. And then the deli paper, which, you know, if you've not played with deli paper before, I really recommend it because it's just... It's so thin, it's great for collaging, and you think, okay, am I gonna use it in a journal? Well, maybe not like this, although it makes that great sound. Um, but you can, you can make a page out of this, you can attach it to another piece of paper, put a book text behind it. Um, I don't have, you know, but because it's translucent, even where the, let's find where there's a lot of color here. Even where there's a lot of color, you can still see the words through it. So tape it, to, or tape it, glue it to a piece of book text. Uh, you can glue it to a piece of fabric. Look at the color there. I guess I skipped ironing that one. So much yummy goodness. So if you're not already in the Facebook group, I hope you will join us over there where we um, share our work, all kinds of artwork, not just junk journals. And we support one another and we ask and answer questions and we would just love to have you join us over there. And let me know, like I said, if you want to be on the announcement list or the journal list. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.